What's up, Galactic Family? It's Moon. As you can see, I can sleep. <laughs> uh, it's night where I am, and I don't know. I just, I can't sleep for some reason. <clears throat> and my throat is bothering me. I don't know if it's because of the rain or my allergies. I'm just, I'm not sure, but yeah. Kind of look spooky. Ew, why do my brows look like that? <laughs> but I guess since we are, okay, you guys can see me now. Since I'm up and everything, I guess we can dive into some creepy. I look like something's in the back. Looks creepy. I don't know. <laughs> Let's dive into some scary TikTok ghost stories. Set them up. Why not? Okay, can we talk about this? Because this is wild. You can't really see it up there, but this guy is talking about how he took a patient to the morgue and he saw them sitting in the room where he took them from two hours ago. And something similar happened to me, right? So back, back, back in the day, like, ooh, my heyday, I used to work as a patient escort and I had a call or order to take somebody to the morgue like I always did, right? So I, like I physically remember pulling them off the, the bed and getting them on my gurney so I can, you know, take them down and put the toe tag on them, right? So, um... As I was like doing my rounds during the day, I saw that patient walk in the hall, like they walked right past me, said hello, and I'm like, oh, hey, you know? And I like kinda stopped, like, what the hell? Like, that's the person that I took to the basement. So I'm like, let me go back and look at my call order. Like, am I going crazy? So I look and I see the order. I go back to the room just, just to see, like, is the room empty? Are they still there? Was I tripping? And of course it was all cleaned up for the next person and i asked the lady at the reception desk like didn't didn't that person go down to the morgue and they were like yeah child freaked me out but i don't know how i forgot this story like maybe i suppressed it because it was like so traumatizing for me like what in the world but yes i remember seeing somebody in the hospital walking around you know, after I took them to the morgue myself, me, I took them down there and they were, I saw them walking the hall. Like they spoke to me like, hey, you know, and I, and I should have thought that was weird. Cause it's like, well, well, I guess not. Like people just say hi, but. <sighs> Ooh, that gives me chills because the hospital that I seen that terrestrial, was the same hospital that I ended up going all the way downstairs to the morgue area and I didn't mean to and I was just looking for the cafeteria <laughs> and if I was to ever come across anything like that ever again like an individual you know that I knew passed away but then all of a sudden you see them sitting or standing somewhere ooh, that's so creepy so creepy okay so I'm just gonna come right out and say it the creepiest thing ever, probably in the history of what has happened so far in my haunted house, officially happened last night. Officially. 100%. So far, nothing can top this one. So, my fiance and I were laying in bed, going to sleep. Great British Baking Show is obviously playing in the background. Nothing else can relax me more. And he's like, stop taking the covers. Stop pulling the covers off me. Mind you... I'm pretty much asleep. I am not moving. I am a log at this point. So I scooch my boot all the way to the other side of the bed. So where we are not touching, there is no way he can tell me that I'm pulling the covers off of him. So he turns the TV off. We are now falling asleep in silence and out of nowhere, literally nowhere. At the same exact time, we both hear mom, mom, excuse me. I am not a mother. We both heard it. We both heard it and it was coming from the bottom, like where your feet are, like that part of the bed. So I'm, I'm literally at a loss for words. The only thing I do know um, 
is that around the 1920s, 1930s, there was a fire in this home, in my house, that um, a family was in, and I've read that they did not make it out. So, like, I, I don't get it. Okay, that was so creepy because being in a haunted house is literally no joke. Like, if anybody knows, like, or grew up in a haunted house and you had experiences like that <clears throat> or you moved into a haunted house and you can't explain anything that's happening like that, yeah, that's creepy. My throat hurts so bad. What is this glare? There's some kind of glare. But yeah. Hey guys, so this story is about my twin sister. So um, after my twin sister died, so me and my mom, we went up there and my baby sister, we went up to where she was, they had a body. And we went to view the body and had made arrangements for the funeral home and mobile to go pick her up. And so we had to go clean our apartment out. So me and my mom knew, I told my mom I was gonna raise her kids. And so we had to look for her kids, birth certificate and social security card. So me and my mom looking and my sister, we all looking while we packing up stuff, but we couldn't find it. And I was like, we was just so emotional. We were just ready to pack the stuff up and just leave. So I told my mom, don't worry about it. I'll just go to the board of health and get another copy of birth certificate and go social security off and get another copy of the um, social security card and I was like let's just go so we packed everything up came back to my apartment in Montgomery and so um, I had a lot of fi family members came at my apartment so I didn't feel like being bothered so while everybody was up front I just went in my room and shut the door and I was just leaning against the wall and I remember sitting in the corner and just crying and I had brought one of the suitcases where I had all her kids stuff in my room. So I'm just sitting there crying, 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 and just like in a state of shock. And I heard my sister voice so loud and clear. I'm not going crazy. And she was like, hey, Kiki, get up and look in the side pocket of the suitcase. And I was like, no, I don't feel like moving. And my sister was like, okay, but I need you to get up and look in that pocket. And I was like, Didn't you did not hear me. Now, mind you, just me in the room, <laughs> but I heard my sister. I said, I don't feel like getting up. I said, I just viewed your body. You gone. I said, I'm mad. You're not here anymore. I don't feel like getting up. My sister said, girl, just get your butt up and just do what I say. She started hollering at me. So I was like, wait a minute. Girl, I don't care if you're dead or not. You ain't going to be hollering at me. So now I'm hollering like, don't you raise your voice at me. I don't care about you hollering at me. So now I'm hollering. So, <laughs> and my sister, just get up and just look in the suitcase. And so, um, I'm hollering back, don't you holler at me? So, <laughs> so I heard a knock on my door. So it was my kids, my cousin, auntie. They was like, um, you okay? Who you hollering at? I said, Mika, is she up in here hollering at me like she my mama? I said, y'all don't care. She don't be raising her voice at me. So now they looking at me like, what? I said, she up in here hollering at me. She lost her dog on mine. So they was like, okay. So they shut the door. And they went on back up front. And so I, I I got mad. So I went over there to the suitcase. And so I'm going through the pockets. And guess what it was? It was the birth certificate and social security cards up in the side pocket of the suitcase. And I was like, oh. And I heard my sister said, next time, just do what I tell you. And I said, next time, don't you be hollering at me. And so, <laughs> and I heard her chuckle. And she said, bye. And I started crying because I knew I wasn't going to hear her voice no more, but she, she come to me regularly in my dream. But that was the time my sister hollered at me and she was gone. <laughs> I actually thought this last one was going to be horrifying and super, super creepy, but it was actually very heartwarming. And that just goes to show we transcend through time and space and we are never really gone. You know, I feel like we do, you know, live on. And that's a good thing to have, like, you know, to think about and keep in the back of your mind because life is pain. When we lose someone we love, it's pain. And um, the fact that her sister was just hollering at her <laughs> to do what she was telling her to do is so funny. Like, as if she was, she never left. So I hope you guys enjoyed those three ghost stories. And I'm going to go try to go back to sleep, um, finish this tea, and try try it try to sleep i don't know oh my goodness my allergies and my throat is hurting so bad and um 
yeah so good night guys see you guys in the next video Mwah.